all right now we are going to see how to use dialog and what are the possibilities so this is the documentation and it says a window overlaid on either the primary window or another di dialog window rendering the content underneath inert and this is the quick demo if you click on the, this then it would open a dialog that would look like this and it is totally customizable you can uh, modify it to make it look like whatever you want so and uh, they also have provided the code that you can feel free to copy paste that we will do shortly and if you scroll down we have the installation steps so first of all you would have to uh, run this command and then we would have to uh, add this piece of code and it would start working after that they have another example and uh, this is also a dialogue but a bit different with a single input and that's it now let's quickly uh, use it so copy the command open the project the terminal in the root directory of your project and paste it by the way this is the 13th part in the 12th part we covered how to use date picker and also if you want to understand how to install it and start it using from the beginning you can uh, watch the part one or you can watch all of the parts if you want to go through all of these components one by one anyways our component is being installed and it is asking that dialog.tsx already exist as uh, we have installed it installed it in previous parts so it is asking that it already exists so if you want to overwrite it so as i did not make any change so i will just replace it or overwrite it so once that is done we are ready to use it so copy this code and uh, go back to the page .tsx of our next js app and here I would get rid of everything paste it and now I will copy this a uh, uh, piece of code and paste it here all right now let's go back to the browser and you see we have a button if you click on that our dialog would open and this is the simplest version of the dialog because it has only the dialog dialog trigger dialog content and within dialog content we have dialog header this is the header and then we have the dialog title and dialogue description so you can feel free to make any change in these and uh, also if this dialogue is located in the component slash ui folder and this is all of the code that they have made to make it look like what it is now and uh, it is made up of totally tailwind css classes and they also use the radix ui to make it functional so if you want to make any uh, change like background color text color or anything you can make those changes here change the tailwind classes or you can add any extra class or you can make any other change that you would like to do you can do it here but remember if you make any change then next time if you uh, try to install dialog it might replace the existing dialog.tsx file so you have to be very careful that it would replace it so Keep that in mind you can also change the style of this open trigger button so for example here you can add glasses like border save it and you can see there is a border and you can add some padding p5 and rounded full that became the circle almost and you can keep going on after that let's quickly test this code i'm going to copy it and the name of the component is dialog demo so in the demos folder create a new file dialog demo.tsx and paste it okay all right now let's go back to the page.tsx and i'm going to get rid of this dialog and here i would add dialog demo component in this way and remove the unused imports and make sure you have added the import statement for dialog demo and now look at this we have this button if you click on that then the dialog would appear like this okay currently it is not functional just the inputs and the submit button but we can make it functional so let's quickly uh, do some experiments with it uh, to get a feeling that how we would be using in the real uh, application so for example this is the trigger okay when you click on that the dialog would appear and uh, on the dialog there are multiple events like 
on open changes so you can detect that if it is being closed or opened so for example here state you can al alert to see the value alert state and check all right you can see the value is true and uh, if you close it then again the alert will show the value false so you can make use of this value to implement your logic in your application and uh, also when you hit the submit button it does not uh, close the dialog so let's see how we can close it if you click on the save button so in order to learn that we will basically go to the api reference for the redx ui and here you will find all of the information that how we can close it by clicking on the save button like here if you click on the save button it closed the dialog so let's see how they did that so this is the save button and they have used the dialog dot close selector or component but we would like to close it uh, programmatically because when you hit the submit we will uh, collect the uh, values from all of the form and process it and once we have processed the data we would like to manually close the dialog so let's see how is that possible okay it is very straightforward so for example you want to manually close it so here you can pass the state for example here use open probe and give it let's suppose i am giving it the true value okay now if you come back to the, your app you would notice that the dialog would be opened by default you don't now even have to click on the trigger button okay but we will set this value with the help of our local state so let's create a state variable constant and we would name it open set open and here i will i will use use state and now pass the open state to it okay and now when you hit the submit button you can call first of all we need to register on click and then we will call set uh, open to true okay by default it should have the false value okay save it now let's try once you use uh, the state in this way the trigger button would not work anymore so we would have to manually change the value so i'm moving that button here uh let me wrap it in another div like this and here you can have a very simple button now like this and add a click event on click and set state set open to true okay save it now let's try or you can see uh, we have opened the dialog by changing the state now if you click the save button it should close it but it is not closing let's see what's wrong uh on click actually uh we should have set the value to false to make it closed so now hit the save button and the dialog would be closed okay so in this way you can write your own logic so this uh, api reference uh, documentation has a lot of information if you want to go in depth and want to understand in depth how you can make a lot of for uh, other changes and uh, how to have more more control then you can feel free to go through it but normally you don't need to do that uh, most of the, most of the time you just have to copy paste the code and uh, you just have to use the simplest versions of the states in this way and uh, you are good to go now let's quickly copy this example so i am going to copy it to activate dialog component from within a context menu or drop down menu you must uh, in case the context menu or drop down menu component in a dialog component for more information uh, there is a link okay so let's copy the code and in the page.tsx i'm going to paste it as it is and make sure i add to add all of the import statements so here in the vs code it gives me suggestions that i can uh, import the missing item so let's do that add all missing imports and that would automatically import all of the missing items for us now here I right click on it so we should avoid auto import because uh, um, sometimes it will automatically import from the redx ui that is not what we want we want to use the uh, generated components of shards in the ui so let's do that one by one manually so make sure to import from the components folder from your repository or from your source code same thing for all of these all right i have added all of the import statements and now we should test it reload it and right click on it we saw our drop down menu 
okay on delete it works so basically the trigger is on the delete button so if you click on the delete then it should open so right click on it click on delete and we see the dialog you can close it or do whatever you want to do with that all right that's all for this video in the next video we are going to cover how to use drawer component of shadow in ui thank you for watching see you in the next one